hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be talking about laziness gonna be talking about procrastination what is laziness you know just being lazy the there's no desire to do anything you rather you're more comfortable not doing anything than actually you know rising up and being productive and stuff procrastination procrastination is the delay of doing something that you know you're supposed to be doing um i'm basically as much as i'm talking to you guys i'm basically talking to myself because procrastination i tries to sneak in sometimes especially like with uni with work procrastination is you know it's mad it's really mad but um i'm here to basically just talk to you guys about how the lord dislikes laziness i can't stress this enough he really does not like laziness because someone that's lazy when it's when it's projected in the physical sometimes it can actually manifest in the spiritual when you're lazy or procrastinate to do things even in your own life sometimes even spiritually you become lazy and you start procrastinating so when you know you're supposed to pray you'll be like ah oh, just pray tomorrow you know it's not that thing or when you're supposed to be reading the bible you'll be like oh, i'll read it later it's not that thing you know the thing about God is he's an orderly God. He's a he's a he's a God of integrity. When you say you're gonna do something, do it at that time, especially when you've done it. But you're now just pushing, pushing, pushing the time or changing the time or the day. Like if you're not taking the work of God seriously or what you're supposed to be doing for God or even just like your life, of course, so, like the progression of your life, the progression of your growth in Christ, it's gonna be delayed because sometimes it's so easy to be like, oh, the devil this, the devil that but even you like you can be the enemy of your progress do you know what i mean so i have a scripture for you guys so if you can open your bibles and head to proverbs 10 and i'm going to be reading the fourth verse that says he who has a slack hand becomes poor but the hand of the diligent makes rich i'm going to read it again he who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. So, what does that mean? The Bible, you know, there's different ways of interpreting it, but let me just interpret it in like a broad statement. It's not just talking about in terms of finances, it's talking about in terms of basically everything because, you know, there's a, you know, riches, there's not necessarily just in finances, but even riches and wealth riches within um your family so like the 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 progression of your family like let's say for example like um <clears throat> like there's issues in your families and stuff there's riches within families the riches within education that you actually pass and you do well in 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 your education riches in career where you're getting promoted which also riches a synonym of riches is wealth wealth in different aspects of life because wealth isn't just finances it's within everything so it's good to be wealthy in life um so this scripture is basically telling us when you become lazy when you start to you know slow down in your progression or you start to really just think to yourself maybe i'll just do it this time this time this time because you know laziness, laziness and procrastination they're basically like cousins aren't they because procrastination you're just you're delaying and you're instead of actually doing what you're supposed to be doing you'd rather be doing something else instead like sitting in bed watching a movie I'm um, so guilty of this. I am so guilty of this. I know because sometimes I just stay in bed and I just watch movies and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just do my work like later. But it's just understanding that that's not good. It's not good. The Bible even says so in the scripture that I just read. When you're lazy, you know, you become poor. When you have slack hands, you become poor. But diligent hands make rich. Like, let, let's read it again. Let's read it again. Who ha he who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. So when you're consistently diligent, consistently, consistently productive, consistently going and going and going, because you don't get to the top by sitting there and waiting for life to pass you by. You get to the top by constantly being productive, constantly doing what you need to do. Let's think for a second. It's best for us to just pick ourselves up, just say, God, like, give me the strength to do what I actually need to do. Even when you feel like you can't do it, ask God for the strength to do it. Because 
it's not by our own might and it's not by our own power but by the power and might of the lord hallelujah so we can't consistently think that okay let me just sit here let me just pray and god will just you know make it happen like this no you have to put action towards stuff like that you can't now ask for god for like let's say a job or something but you don't have the heart to actually work you know you don't have the heart to you're not naturally you're just not a hard work not even naturally i take it back god forbid but you yourself you've become like someone who doesn't like working hard or doing things so how is god supposed to give you a job if you're not actually going to really like take that job and actually appreciate it with the hard work that you put into it because god looks at you he looks at your heart he sees what you do and it's that what god sees you doing and what you're asking for kind of needs to go hand in hand kind of needs to be aligned you know what i mean so yes let's do better guys let's be better at this thing you know education let's do our work when we need to do it before the deadline so we're not stressing or crying or bothering our tutors talking about we need extensions why don't you do it when you had to do it baby girl i mean there's certain circumstances that stop us from doing certain things but if you know you're a person that keeps pushing pushing that keeps procrastinating why did you not do your um your essay your assignment when you were supposed to like, let's really think about it now you want to be pushing your teacher for extensions baby girl do better baby boy do better do you know what i mean so i'm just gonna pray for all of us me included just gonna pray that god let's bow our heads almighty god we just come before you i pray that father every person here oh god that lord jesus you touch their lives their hearts their minds and i rebuke every every trace of laziness every trace of procrastination that mighty god they become more productive they become more diligent mighty father even according to your word that mighty god we all have and possess diligent hands almighty god that father that we may walk oh god in the riches oh god that we produce because of the strength and 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 the, the 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 mercy and grace that you've given us almighty god right here right in this moment that father we ask for mercy oh father where we have been lazy where we have procrastinated almighty god i pray that almighty father in everything that we do we do with a joyful heart that father we do with so much energy the energy that you've given us and i pray that father in everything that we do with diligent hands that father it succeeds that god it is excellent in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, for tuning in, for listening. And God bless you, whatever time of the day that you watch this video morning, noon, night. I just pray that you <coughs> highly blessed, that you go and be productive. Do you know what I mean? So, anyways, bye, guys. <laughs>